Medicalous. Hey guys, this is Jamal with GospelMusicians.com and this is a, a little private kind of video for the teachers and the students too. Uh, I wanted to show you the benefits of this LMS stuff. I wanted to actually show you why it's cool and how it's cool because you can have different kinds of LMSs. The traditional way is to have an LMS where it's an actual teacher, okay? So here's a Here's an actual teacher that's teaching uh, some, some, a song. So here, here's an example. Okay, this is Jamal Hartwell, and we're demonstrating a quick meticulous uh, lesson. This is gonna be a lesson on jazz. So what I'm gonna do is just show you uh, one of the powerful chords in jazz. Uh, uh, if you're the teachers, make sure you do stuff really slow. Now remember, a lot of you who are booting up meticulous are like, Dude, I don't see any keys. This is a different way. So you have to turn the keys on. Let's turn them all to blue. Uh, let's once again use our virtual instruments, which are way better. So uh, I'm going to go to my trusty true keys, uh, Ravenscroft here. And uh, this is the way to really hear it. Now, I'm going to show you some tricks in between here on how this actually works. And this is different from version, uh, the other versions, okay? So the key to this is right here is this controls the volume of the audio, this controls the volume of the MIDI. So let's, um, let me load in another file here, um, teaching example number two, all right? So this is my guy, Will, he's teaching the blood. Good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. So let's get it just gives it that, that real traditional churchy sound. Shed for me. Alright, so you're going to the to the D flat. Actually. Now as you can see with this meticulous file. And then you're going to an E flat seven. So he recorded the audio and he did not record the um he did not record the audio in an audio format, he recorded the MIDI. So this gives you full access for the musician to have act, to, to control the sound of the MIDI file. And this is the teaching right here. D flat. All right. And then we're going to the next part. So we're going way back on Calvary. So as you can see, this is a traditional. Now what we can do is um, we can do what I call MIDI over a song. So watch this. So this is the actual song. This is the actual song and he's recording and he's recording the MIDI on a separate track. So you just basically take the, the the MIDI, I mean you take the song and then you record MIDI over it like this. and just play the, the LMS. And we play it with it. It's just a sign that I So we're going to give this away free. Okay. And then we have, uh, we have songs with the click track. So you can play the song and then you play it with just a click track.
says, I need your glory. We can mute this and then. We can slow it down like you want to right here. Real slow. So as you can see, the benefit of having audio and MIDI sunk together gives you a lot of possibilities. All right, here's another one. This is a song with a click track here. So in this case, so in this case, he actually played the whole song like he was doing a production, but this is not taken from the actual audio. And then you can give each and every instrument its chance. So just do the bass, the keys, the lead and stuff like that and send it to your student. Once again, we can mute here and then play the piano. <laughs> Slow it down to get them chords. So, as you can see, the benefit of the LMS with the audio animated. And so we slowed it down, and obviously the audio is not going to be super good. That's why you have the benefit of the MIDI by itself. So we showed you different examples. We showed, um, we showed you a teacher uh, that, that is actually teaching the song. We can show you a teacher that actually is just playing the song. We actually can take the MP3 of the song and play the piano over it, or you can play your own click track in this case. Rip it, just rip it. Now here's a music, here's a message for all you musicians out there. Some of you may be saying in your head, but I can't see his fingers. Sometimes you get stuff so easy that it's too easy and you don't create an element of hurt or pain. What's the number one way for a muscle to grow? The number one way for a muscle to grow is to disturb it, as to, to irritate it. That causes it to grow. If someone's giving you every single thing, then it doesn't cause you to grow. This allows you to say, oh, I don't have the finger and at least I can get the finger in. This is as easy as cake, as delivering the easiest thing. Do you know what we had to do when we had to figure out songs? We literally had to listen to a tape recorder and rewind it over and over again to get the chords. And we had to use our ears like you have all of the notes. You have the chord names. You can slow it down. You can change the key. So to say you do not have the fingering or a, a few tiny elements from this software, it's getting to the point where we're building a lot of lazy musicians and you guys are forgetting the element of pain or the element of making it hard to get the chords, okay? 
So don't, don't look at this as, oh, I don't have the instructional video, because this software allows you to do that the instructional video would never allow you to do. It allows you to change the key of the MIDI. It allows you to um, slow it down and speed it up. You can't slow down or speed up a, 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 a video file, and even if you have software that does, it only does it a little bit. Ridiculous.com